Winter camping. It's a very quiet time of the year. I wanted to show you a quick video about uh, winter camping and how much power your furnace uses and how you can recharge it um, using your car or the grid and different things like that. So um, it's pretty cold. It's about uh, minus 10 or that's around 15 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm gonna show, take you inside. We've been off grid now, disconnected from power since uh, for about 24 hours. Um, the heater ran continuously overnight and I want to show you a couple of things inside as far as power and how much power we've used. Let's have a look. So we're inside the Airstream. Let's go and have a look at how we're doing for power. Let's have a look at this. And here we're running, we're about 37%, which is 11.8 volts. So we've been running about 24 hours and that's chewed up a lot of power. Let me show you the deep cycle batteries. We got four massive deep cycle batteries, almost, it's more than 400 amps of power. Um, and uh, it's chewed up a lot of that power because we are down at, uh, by the way, we have zero coming in from our solar, which is on the roof. We have a half a kilowatt, 520 watts, which is useless right now because it's all covered in snow. So we're gonna go ahead and plug into grid power so that we can measure how fast our uh, built-in converter is charging our batteries. And plug that in. Well, let's go inside and have a look. So we're plugged into grid power and we are now charging the batteries, those four massive deep cycle batteries at around 21 amps. That's how fast the built-in charger is putting power into there. Okay, and here's the fun part. We're gonna plug in car generator boost and see how much power we're putting back into a trailer then. There we go. We are putting 90 amps back into our trailer batteries. And as you can see, there's a connector on the Airstream. Uh, the one towards the Airstream is gray, and the one that goes into the car is black. And you can see, we're pushing a nice solid 86 amps into our Airstream safely, easily, um, and that just gives you an idea of how quickly you'll be able to recharge your batteries. Now, as it starts to fill up, this number will taper down. So as you get up to maybe, it'll decrease to 30, 20, 10, and when you get up to 10 amps um, that's flowing across into the Airstream, then you can disconnect this. Okay, just checking in, it's about two hours later, and you can see car generator boost is still putting in around 61 amps back into the trailer batteries. So it's been, uh, you can see it's gradually decreasing, but um, it's putting power safely and easily back into your trailer to fill the batteries back up. Three and a half hours later just checking in to wrap things up um, so basically we have brought our trailer batteries back up to 90 percent uh, 80 90 percent and we did it in three and a half hours that compared to plugging into the grid or running a gas generator would have taken six eight ten hours quite a lot of time um, so car generator boost is a cool little product for winter camping and it's not expensive either so check it out on www.cargenerator.com thanks for watching have a fabulous day bye it's jonathan with car generator